All right, it's April 9th, six o'clock, supper time. Um, this year there's gonna be no spear fishing video, I know, but um, we did go fishing and the way I'm gonna do this video is I'm just gonna show a little clip, a couple clips from this past Sunday, me and Howie went up and we did pretty good. Got a few fish, cleaned them up. Now it's time to eat them, or some. So I'm gonna make a couple uh, different options for the fish. I'm gonna just do the regular old battered fish gonna make some fish sandwiches and I got some uh, we take the cheeks out so I'm gonna make some fish cheeks too but I'm gonna head upstairs right but right now I'm gonna show you some of the footage from this past Sunday so hope you enjoy it second cast A little slower, Joe, but I think. We're going on four casts now. Come on here. Are you on? Four casts. Ooh. Four casts. Good <laughs> Net needle. Give us a little update, then Joe. It's 11:30. We figured we stopped for a little bite to eat. We I lost count how many fish we got so far. Probably stick around another hour or two after lunch and see what we can come up with. It's been a pretty good day. Sun sun just about coming out now. I imagine it'll just pick up with fish here.
for the fish. Like I said, we're going to be doing a couple different options here. But uh, we'll go over this, the regular fish fillets. A little fish crisp, Cajun. And you got to cut the product with a little bit of original. I'll probably do a couple up with just original. Just because the old lady don't like the spicy. But I'm going to switch it up even more. I think I'll do the first one with... Uh, I'm going to crush up some of these Cool Ranch. Real fine. And I'm just going to add it to some original. Deep fry those up. And uh, see how they come out. But first... I'm gonna do these right here. Hold on, tripods hit the ground. These here are just fish cheeks. Um, always taking these out. Probably, I hate to say they're my favorite part, but they're pretty good. So, just cook them the same way. Just batter them up. First, you gotta put a wash on them. And recently, I've been using mustard. And I'm gonna set the camera down and I'll get these going. So all you do is take your cheeks, I like to dry them off, and just add them to a bowl. Take yourself some salt and pepper. Mustard. You don't, you don't want to go too crazy with the mustard. It's enough. That should be good. Yes, I washed my hands. Mix it up. And now those are ready to go into the fish batter. I'll just go with some original. Just a little bit of Cajun. So I got my grease set at about 350, 360. My little stove top uh, fryer maxes out at 375. So once you get these all done up, throw them in the tray, and they usually take about two to three minutes. And through the miracle of time, those are done. Little golden nuggets. So, once my fish is done, I'll let it sit in here for about a minute. Get the excess grease off, shake them up a little bit, and then I add them to a uh, Usually a tray, and in the tray I'll usually put some uh, put some paper towels down just to get rid of that excess grease. All right, I got the second batch going in. This is just the regular uh, regular um, word I'm looking for here. This is just usually how I normally cook them, Cajun. Like I said, I usually like to use Italian. I got regular. Tried the Doritos, and it kind of didn't stick as good as I thought it was gonna, but it was good. Just gonna do the rest up the regular way. Then I'm gonna get uh, get some fish sandwiches on the go here. All I'm gonna do is take these buns here, turn on a burner, put a pan on it, 
put some olive oil on both sides of the bun and just basically just toast it. And all I am using for my fish is mustard. And like I said, just fish crisp, salt and pepper. And they come out pretty good. So I'll get these done here and then uh, I'll assemble a couple of fish sandwiches just to show you how I do that. Alright, so we're going to assemble a walleye fish sandwich here. All you do, take your buns, get them ready, take some olive oil. You just take your brush and just baste it on. Alright, these buns are just about done. Take those aside. All you do is make a burger. Throw one of those on. Set the camera up here. There she is. Take a bite. Oh my goodness. Pretty good. Well, I'm going to wrap this video up. A little catch, clean, and cook with some walleye. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Made some fish sandwiches. Made some just regular old school deep fried. Made some fish cheeks. Those are excellent. So, said, hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time.